um we trust god to teach us on a topic that says um be traceable be traceable and we're going to look at the book of acts acts chapter 19 from verse 13 then certain of the vagabond jews certain of the vagabond now the word vagabond shows that they were though they were jews they belong to the lineage of the israelites but um, they have issues because anytime the bible refers to a person as a vagabond just know that that person is himless they don't have vision and um, they walk himlessly the bible also called them a sorcist. you know there are two words that is used to describe these jews here it says certain vagabond jews exorcist that's two now took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the lord jesus saying we adjure you by jesus own paul preacher now these seven sons these seven you know these seven uh, men they what they did was they they invited a person somebody that is demon possessed they invited the person they now said well we beg you this demon to come out in the name of jesus that paul is preaching about now they do they want to do kingdom things but they want to do it carnally that is what happens to people when they choose to do kingdom things carnally meanwhile these people don't they do not have any trace to god if you trace them you can't trace them to god so if you cannot be traced to god just know that you are not you you are not eligible to do the things of god you can only be qualified to do the things of god the moment you become traceable to god so they, they invited the demon possessed and they said, we beg you, in the name of Jesus, that Paul preached. Now, let's go to verse 14. And there were seven sons of one Sceva, a Jew and a sheaf of the priests, which did so. So these men, they were, they were seven sons of Sceva. So the name of their father has been revealed here. In verse 15, the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, Paul I know, but who are ye? Can you see that? You see, before you cast out a demon, the first thing the demon will do is they will check your profile in the spirit and trace you. If they can trace you to God, then they will obey you. If they cannot trace you to God, then they will not only disobey you, but they will give you a mark. Yes, they will give you a mark. That's why compassion is not enough to do kingdom business. Oh, I feel so compassion. You know, uh, I feel so sorry for the sick. Let me just go and pray for them. No, that's not enough. You have to be traceable to God first. So they thought it is just about saying in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous, that's the people that runs into it. The righteous, not the sinners. The Bible says the righteous runs into it and they were saved. Meaning that the name of Jesus is only potent in the mouth of the righteous people. Not just any other person, but the righteous. The righteous. I hope you understand. Now, let's go to verse 15 again. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I know. Now, when they, when they said, come out in the name of they, they, they even begged. They said, please come out in the name of Jesus that Paul is preaching about. They thought casting out devils is by begging. How can you beg a, a demon to come out of a person? The demon is finding pleasure in that place. So, the demon will not live by begging. The demon will live by force. And that force is the force of power. So, they never, they don't know that principle. So, they said, we beg you in the name of Jesus that Paul is preaching about, please come out. Verse 15. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, Paul I know, who are ye? Meaning that the moment they say come out, the, the spirits, they, they check there, they trace them in the spirit. And when they trace them, they could not trace them to Christ. 
Can you see that's a calamity? If you stand before a demon, trying to cast out the demon, when you cannot be traceable to Christ, Kai, you are already in calamity because <laughs> what will happen to you, <laughs> it will become something that you will tell your generations to come. 16. And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them. Can you see that? And overcame them. Can you see that? They were supposed to overcome the demon, but because they are not traceable to God, the demon overcame them and prevailed against them. Can you see that? The moment you are not traceable to God, evil spirit will, the first thing is they will overcome you. Two, they will prevail against you. So, so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. So the end product of a man who is trying to do something spiritual without being, you know, without having any trace to God is that he will become naked and he will be wounded. So the testimony that the seven sons of Sceva had was that they became naked and they became wounded. They were naked because the spirit overcame them. And they were wounded because the spirit prevailed against them. Can you see that? So there's a need for you to. So there's a need for you to ensure that you are traceable to God. Ministry is not just about bouncing out to do something that others are doing. The demons you want to cast out, they will check your profile in the spirit. They will trace you to your root. But if they trace you to your root and they don't find God there. Your testimony will be like that of the sons of Skipper. They ended up being wounded and they, they, they ended up being naked. The word naked there means that their secret was exposed. And the, the, the word wounded there means the devil put in a, a mark on them. May the devil not put a mark on you in the name of Jesus. Be traceable. Not just to be traceable, ensure that you are traceable to God. You cannot do spiritual business when you are not traceable to God. Because you will be, you know, you will be, you will be contending with principalities and thrones and powers. So you will need God to survive. Check your origin. Even before the demon, before, before spirit begins to trace you, you trace yourself first. So that you will not be disgraced openly as a minister. Trace yourself. Find your root. The moment you can find God there, you know you are secured. You must ensure you trace your root and find God there before you stand before men. Otherwise, your disgrace will also be in the presence of men. May you not suffer shame in the name of Jesus.